How are we doing guys? Welcome back. So what we're going to look at today is the Graco pressure roller kit. And what you get in that box, you get an inline gun, a roller sleeve, a frame and one of the pole extensions. The other two are from my jet roller kit. Uh, so I've just used that to extend for this exterior project. So I've got paint in the line, I've just got to connect the gun. The sleeve slides straight off, you push that little attachment down and the roller sleeve comes straight off. And what you'll see is holes. So the paint shoots out the holes and it fires into the roller sleeve. The sleeve itself is a perforated head. So before we start, let's take a look at how the roller looks once you start applying the paint. Um, so I'm pulling the trigger and that's going to fill the inside of the roller up. The trick is to have the pressure on the machine fairly low. So once your roller's filled up with paint, you'll be able to evenly distribute and roll that around. So we've got the Graco pressure roller running at around 400, 500 psi. It's not got to be high, connected to the inline gun. And all we're going to do is, if you flip it around, you can use your fingers or opposite way and use your thumb. A little double press on every upstroke or down, whatever you're comfortable with. You'll travel quite far with that. So you've not got to keep your finger on there. Your pressure is better lower and just by doing the little double tap it just feeds enough paint in there for you to travel with quite an even finish. The higher the pressure is the more force that that paint's shooting out so the more it's shooting out the more chance it's got of putting that uh, putting that pattern onto the wall which then you'll obviously have to spend more time trying to roll that off uh, whereas if you've got it down lower all that you're doing is just feeding that roller internally with more paint so that you can just keep rolling a lot more smoothly. Once you get the hang of it, after I'd say one wall, you'll get the hang of how much you need to apply. If there's areas that need more, just pull the trigger for longer uh, and just flood it if you need to get in deeper or you need to cover more area. When you get used to it, you can hear the roller as well. Uh, if it sounds like it's sucking and it's running out, then you'll be able to judge it by ear as well. You can buy aftermarket sleeves and that's what I tend to do. There are a couple of options with the pressure roller. You can buy the full system, which is, as I say, the gun, the pole, the head and a sleeve as a full kit. Or you can just buy the head attachment, a sleeve and one of the poles without an inline gun. It's a little adapter which has got an angle that just allows you to connect it to one of your airless guns that you've already got. So you don't need an inline gun but they are, in my opinion, a bit more a bit more comfortable to use if you're using it a lot. Um, the position's just easier for me. So the head attachments, you can pick up the head on its own, which is the 23 centimeter head, which is the nine inch. And you can pick up the 30 centimeter head, again, separately, um, which is near enough 12 inch. If I were gonna buy again, I would probably look at the telescopic pole, because I reckon that'd be pretty handy. Uh, because if you've got two solid connections on, then you've got to keep on doing those if you're in, if you then end up in a few tight spaces. So what you'll see is the paint comes out of the blobs, but because I've got the pressure down real low, it's not doing it much. If your pressure's too high, you'll just have to keep rolling it off. It'll put the print on the wall, whereas if you've got it lower, you'll be able to just travel a lot more smoothly, just tap him. So that's it, so that's the pressure roller. So I'll try and find some links for the items and pop them into the description below just to give you an idea of costs and obviously you can buy those. Thanks for watching guys, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all those things really help the channel. And if you've got any questions, just pop them down in the comments and I'll get back to everyone. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook as well, Sprayaholic. Again, I'll pop those links down in the description. And if you've got any ideas on videos that you'd like me to cover in future videos, then again, just let me know in the comments and 
I'll uh, factor those into some up and coming videos. So yeah, nice one. Take it easy guys and I'll see you soon.